Okay, so you want to do a LED light upgrade to your headlights. Um, get yourself some LEDs. I bought these ones off Amazon. You can get them uh, wherever, good ones, cheap ones. Uh, some come with fans, some don't. Um, check your, uh, some of them are legal, some of them are not. Depends on where you live. And depends what reflector you have them in, right? That's true. Um, but what I want to kind of tell you guys is uh, there's different resistors that you can buy for these. A lot of vehicles nowadays, when you put lights in, um, cars know that the lights burned out and uh, it'll set a message off on your instrument cluster telling you that you have a headlight out or a turn signal. Um, so what you got to do is put in one of these resistors and all that basically does is uh, changes the uh, resistance value that the computer sees and tricks the computer into thinking that uh, the light bulb is working. Seeing as LEDs don't use as much voltage as uh, a regular light bulb. So um, what you want to do, I bought these off of Amazon as well. They're just cheap. Um, they plug right in. However, both of these for the vehicle I was trying to put them in uh, didn't work. Some vehicles they might work on. I haven't had any luck from the ones that I bought off of uh, good old internet. So I went out and bought one of these. Sylvania makes these. They're a load equalizer. All it is is a resistor inside of here, six ohms. And it gets wired uh, across the load. So instead of like you'll have uh, your power and your ground coming out of the light bulb, you don't want to wire it in line like this in series. You want to wire it, wire it across like this. So you would have your light bulb that would get plugged in like that. And then this would splice in one here and one here. And this, and that's how that would work. So I just thought I would show you. You can see in the diagram how they would want you to do that. Pretty simple. Um, in that kit, they give you these uh, quick connects that you just stick the wire in. Taps in. And uh, yeah, it just cuts through the insulation and you can close this and it'll lock it together. If you're uh, doing wiring and it's outside of the vehicle, I don't recommend that you use these because they're not weatherproof. And you know, after some time, the uh, moisture and stuff's gonna get inside them. The wires are gonna turn all green. You're gonna have a bad day. But that's up to you. What I usually use is a uh, heat shrink. This has some glue on the inside of it. So you make your connection, solder it up, slip this over it, and then uh, 